Hello, everybody. Welcome to your June part one video scope. I'm Jean. I'm a soul coach, intuitive, astrologer. Yeah, three for one when you work with me. But I have uh, the solar eclipse, all, all 12 sign videos up on Patreon for a dollar and consciousness videos and live streaming. And of course, I'm always available for private sessions. Thank you for subscribing. So we open this period with the sun, <clears throat> pardon me, pollen season here, with the sun still transiting through that mutable air sign of Gemini. And this is an extremely mental period when thoughts, communications, and ideas proliferate, as does curiosity and hopefully more humor on planet. The energy from the 2nd to the 4th of June is very grounded and balanced and uplifting and generous and optimistic as the sun trines Saturn and as Venus trines Jupiter. This is a lovely energetic from her new perch. She just transited into Cancer at the beginning of June. And so this is a generous time, an optimistic time, an uplifting time um, with home and family and support and creativity. Venus transiting cancer uh, deepens the value and the meaning of emotional comfort and nurturing things, themes and subjective personal life. Home, family of origin, or choice is highlighted. Housing, parents, restaurants, real estate, and the feeling nature is where Venus is shining her light through the 27th of June. And then she'll transit into the proud and dramatic sign of Leo. Now, from the 4th through the 7th, we have a little bit of a different story to tell. Mars is moving into opposed Pluto from 27 degrees of Cancer to Capricorn. And what is Mars? Mars is the archetype of uh, personal will, of confidence, desire, assertiveness. The shadow side, the unintegrated, the lower nature expression of Mars is aggressive and manipulative and compulsive and controlling. With opposition energy, um, this is tied to an external event, person, situation. You're, you're engaged with this due to some external um, energy dynamic in your life. And you may become aware of some tendencies within yourself and outside of yourself that have to do with these energies. It see it as a tension between the shadow side and the soul urges. There may be conflict between uh, structures, authority figures in your life versus your desire for comfort, support, and security. We are in a Plutonian theme here in the United States, especially as we're already in the Pluto return. And during Plutonian times, people and nations are invited to reckon with their own dark sides. That sounds ominous. And if you fear if you let fear gain the upper hand, it can be. But there's also an implication that you are ready to do and to face that brave work and face the things, you, things that maybe you've been frightened to admit. This is honorable, an honorable passage for shadow integration. Uh, when it's affecting a country, as it is now, uh, Pluto and Capricorn. Pluto Capricorn is about patriarchal hierarchy. People assign different meanings. It's not just about guys running everything. <laughs> but this has been on planet and grown in influence since the country's birth. 
250 years ago. With the Pluto return, um, it's saying these structures, these patriarchal structures, and what is that? Patriarchy is a top-down system um, in so many systems on the planet uh, where those in power or at the top have the power, have the knowledge, and you have to go to them and through them, and they will parse out the information or their goodwill or as they deem. What's happening to these structures is with the advent of technology proliferating, where information can be accessed in different ways that aren't as dependent upon the patriarchal structures. This is revealing the functions behind them and the ability for humans to make different choices based on the availability of information. And a very simple expression of this is um, the uh, corporate media in this country. They have seen their ratings drop significantly this year. Now, they have long held the purpose of disseminating information to you and to tell you what's going on in the world. As we're seeing more and more of the mechanics behind these systems, People are figuring out that, you know, these are propaganda channels, essentially, um, where you choose not to become triggered, angry, or fearful by plugging into these patriarchal systems. Here's the knowledge. Trust us. We are giving you and metting out the information. People are growing and growing and growing as other resources for information exchange are proliferating on other platforms that they no longer are willing to plug into these, I'm going to call them propaganda outlets. I mean, really, that's where we are. To be triggered, to become angry, and to get slanted perceptions of what is the so-called news. So that is one patriarchal system that is being affected. And what people are doing and can choose to do is to remove their participation from some of these systems, whether that's the removal of your attention and focus, the removal of your dollar um, and your resources. But with the shifting with these systems, we're seeing almost everywhere we look the pulling back of the curtain to reveal the man with the levers and not being an all powerful knowing entity. So that's a big picture of this process that we're in. You can choose differently. And with the advent of information flow and options on the planet, with the growth of technology, there are many options you can choose from and many ways you can choose not to participate. You'll be happier <laughs> if you don't listen to cable. And there's more data-based, fact-based sources out there as well. Fact-based sources. There are others that are cropping up that ha carry the same slant and, and carry the same kind of skewed messaging. So this is the Plutonian energy. And from the fourth to the seventh with the Mars opposition, Pluto, be available um, to see what comes up in your world and within yourself. Now, exact on the 5th of June is the second Mercury square Neptune with the final occurring once Mercury is direct the first week of July. In addition um, to the strong Mars-Pluto energy, you want to be careful of sorting between tr truths and untruths. Um, there'll be a concerted efforts here to kind of obstruct things or slant things. Mercury in Gemini, which is about facts and data, is squaring Neptune in Pisces, which is also symbolic of vaccines 
and drug facts and distributions and things behind the scenes. So this is ripe for a little obfuscation for um, not being able to see clearly, but in your own life, um, you know, if you don't know what to think or you don't know your plans, trust that. That's wisdom in my view. I don't know what I think. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm unsure. Trust the not being sure because you won't be unsure. That will shift and that will move again. Once Mercury moves out of retrograde, moves past that final Neptune square, it's about trusting the timing of things, which is a very powerful place to operate from. Um, while Mercury retrogrades through the 22nd in its natural home of Gemini, you're also revisiting uh, people and siblings and relatives and places. And when you um, revisit these people and places and engagements, uh, there's a lot of pleasure to be experienced from that. There are also two repeating patterns that are occurring this month. The first uh, period for this was in February. And this is the Saturn square, freedom loving change agent Uranus and Saturn sextile healing and the evolving wisdom planet of Chiron. So this is a personal reconstruction period in your life that you're engaging with, especially through the summer months. And what long standing forms in your life um, are leaving and changing and what emerging identities are cropping up in your consciousness and through your loving care and focus that may be replacing these older structures or constructs of thought. Now, the new moon annular solar eclipse is exact on the 10th of June at 19 degrees of Gemini, and it conjuncts the Mercury retrograde and it squares Neptune. So the signature is being carried forward into the next six months for global developments on planet. And Gemini is all about the dissemination of information and Neptune is about uh, pandemics and vaccine and origin stories and, and process. We've had an interesting <laughs> development in this country. This was brilliant. Um, when they announced last week that masks will not be mandata mandated for vaccinated people. So what the system was saying is we're not going to monitor this. You are. Brilliant. It kind of turns everyone into the peer police. And what power has always known through the centuries is when you can create tension in the populations and within the citizens, they're not as apt to pay attention to what's going on with power and what they're doing. So this is a if you're a strategy person like I am a little bit, I'm like, oh, that was a good, that was interesting. But to that, I would say, be kind to one another. Everybody, just about everybody is trying to do the best they can with what information they're given about current situations on planet. What you think you're sure of or know now may change and then change again. So be very careful of pushing your opinion and your sense of knowing onto others. And you're playing they, their game when you do that, by the way. Um, be kind, be nice. This is uh, also can be an extremely creative time and a time where your left brain is interfacing with that higher self, that right brain, the intuitive force within you, and there's some shifts going on. And while things are shifting and changing, there can be a little insecurity with that. To that, I would say to those of you who are learning to connect with your vertical self and dimensions, keep track of things, be gentle, take your time, explore, um, experiment with it. 
Now, the new moon annular solar eclipse, again, is exact on the 10th at 19 degrees. This will be visible from Russia and from northern Canada. For the rest of us, it will be possible to see a partial solar eclipse in northern Asia, Europe, and the United States. It is exact at 6.33 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time or New York Time. And an annular solar eclipse is when the moon covers the sun's center, leaving an outer edge that is called the ring of fire. Um, solar eclipses are external in nature, showing up as external events in your life that are tied to your soul's growth and trajectory. With the conjunction of Mercury still retrograde, and it's halfway through its retrograde cycle at the solar eclipse. You are looking back, looking back in order to move forward. And that will most assuredly come in the July time frame. Mercury retrograde is a spiritual transit. It's a turning within and an inward focus to dial down the focus on the out there. With the square uh, to Neptune, again, this can be a profound time for the inner journey, the spiritual, the creative, the artistic, and the soul. Once Mercury stations direct on the 22nd of June at 16 degrees, external life will begin to normalize its patterns. And further, as you move past that final Mercury square Neptune exact in July from the 5th to the 7th, your vision plans, and clarity will consolidate. And then finally, on the 11th, Mars exits the cardinal and emotionally protective sign of Cancer and shifts into the fixed fire sign of Leo from the 11th of June until July 29th. Entertainment and pleasure is highlighted here. Leo rules the fifth house of the natural zodiac, and symbolizes children and taking risks and dating and the joie de vivre of life and your authentic self versus trying to fit in to uh, uh, societal, societal norms and groups you may participate in. This can be an extremely creative time and enthusiastic time. The glyph of Leo symbolizes the heart with its two valves. As this is a fixed fire sign, we describe this period as persistent enthusiasm. Leo also rules stadiums, entertainment, leadership, management, your inner child, pregnancy, sportsmen, actors, CEOs, creative projects, and trusting yourself more. Happy solar eclipse, everyone. Be well. And I'll speak with you again in a couple weeks.